Greetings to the students of class 5. Dear students, today I will teach you how to do addition and subtraction of decimal numbers. So let's start. Dear students, we will do an activity to learn addition and subtraction of decimal numbers. Here I have two circles with me. Both the circles are of equal size and they have 10 equal parts. When we join these two circles, here out of 10 equal parts, its one colored special parts fraction is 1 by 10. Dear kids, you have already learned that 1 by 10 fraction can be represented as 0 decimal 1 in its decimal form. Now, when we add one colored special part of the circle more to the first one, we get two colored special parts of the circle. That means we have to add 0 decimal 1 to 0 decimal 1 to get 0 decimal 2. Dear students, while adding decimal numbers, write the addends one below the other so that the decimal points of all the addends are one below the other. Now, when we move one more colored special part of the circle further, we get three colored special parts of the circle. Its decimal form will be 0 decimal 3. We have to add 0 decimal 1 to 0 decimal 2 to get 0 decimal 3. So, in this way, we can do addition of decimal numbers. Dear kids, now in this figure, out of 10 equal parts, its three colored special parts decimal form is 0 decimal 3. Dear kids, when we move these two circles, we reduce one colored special part of the circle and we are left with two colored special parts of the circle. That means we will subtract 0 decimal 1 from 0 decimal 3 to get 0 decimal 2. Dear students, in the same way, when we move these circles further, we are left with one colored special part of the circle and its decimal form is 0 decimal 1. That means we have to subtract 0 decimal 1 from 0 decimal 2 to get 0 decimal 1. So, in this way, we can do subtraction of decimal numbers. Dear students, we use addition and subtraction of decimal numbers several times in our daily life. Let's take an example from our daily life. Dear kids, Sukman and Arpan's mother bought some vegetables. She bought some potatoes. These potatoes weighed 2 decimal 304 kilograms. She also bought some peas. The weight was 0 decimal 500 kilogram. And when these both the vegetables were weighed together, their weight was 2 decimal 804. Kids, it's very clear. 2 decimal 304 and 0 decimal 500. On adding these two, we get 2 decimal 804. It can be represented as in this form in a mathematical pattern kids both the vegetables when weighed together were 2 decimal 804 kilograms when we subtract the weight of peas that is 0 decimal 500 kilogram from the weight of total vegetables we are left with 2 decimal 304 kilograms of potatoes Dear students, it's very clear that after subtracting 0 decimal 500 from 2 decimal 804, we get 2 decimal 304. In mathematical form, it can be represented like this. Dear students, decimal numbers have two parts. One part is whole number and the other part is decimal part. So, this decimal number is divided into Two parts. Dear students, decimals with same number of decimal places are called like decimals. So, these decimal numbers are like. 
dear students decimals having different number of decimal places are called unlike decimals so these two numbers are unlike decimal numbers dear students we can convert the unlike decimals into like decimals we may add as many zeros to the right of the last digit after the decimal point as needed yes dear students after adding zero to it it does not change the value of the decimal number for example 0.50 is same as 0.500 now this is equivalent to another number that is 2.804 now these two numbers are like decimal numbers dear kids for homework you have to solve question number 1 and question number 2 of exercise 4.8 solve all these parts of both the questions thank you so much dear students